Oh, hello. There's a difference between being thirsty and being hungry, okay? I'm not talking about in the physical sense, but in the theoretical sense, being thirsty is being desperate, okay? It's like you need to get whatever you need to get and you feel like you're gonna die without it, all right? Hunger is about survival. These two things go hand in hand, really, when you're talking about the physical sense of things because in order to really get food down, you need to drink sometimes, you know what I'm saying? You have to have enough saliva in your system. It's a part of the breaking down of the food is having that saliva. Right now, this video is brought to you by toddler tears, which is actually my favorite drink because toddler tears is something that is natural. Uh, it comes from the earth. It actually comes from dirt into a human in the tear ducts and through the face. And you have to actually get them from your toddler when they are crying. So when I'm drinking this, trust me, I have had a full cup of this this morning and I have more stored in the refrigerator because we had a lot of toddler tears today. Why am I here? Because on Instagram, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know what happened, but Uriah Bo had some issues, okay? He had issues because he didn't wanna eat his broccoli. So we have thirst versus hunger and toddler tears to go. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram, follow my wife, follow the chocolate babies. It's just a whole concoction of goodness. You don't wanna miss the stories, but because you will have missed the story, I'm just gonna show you a snippet of what happened this is Uriah versus dinner. Yvette's trying to get them to eat their broccoli. So she made up a song. Mom is a cheerleader. Dad will threaten you. That's all you're going to get from me. Uriah, so you're not going to eat your broccoli and rice now, right? You gonna eat it for breakfast tomorrow? Next time on Dragon Ball Z, will Uriah finish his breakfast, his dinner for breakfast? Stay tuned. Now see, last night I know I knew better, okay? I knew that he should have eaten his food last night, and I knew he wouldn't, so I gave him the option. Uriah, please eat your food right now. But he chose to take the longer route. He chose to think that my childishness, the child inside of me was gonna run out, but I had enough childishness for all of us, okay? I had enough. So the thing is about toddlers, they don't really understand the rippling effect of their actions, okay? So when you drop a stone, a pebble, or something inside a body of water, let's just call it a pool or something like that, it's going to ripple. And the effects, you don't know how long it's gonna ripple, how long it's gonna last. Now, if you do some type of physics, you could probably figure it out, but toddlers don't think in that way, okay? So Uriah didn't count the fact that him not finishing his meal that night, last night, he thought when he closed his eyes, it was over and he would wake up and it would be a brand new day. You know what I mean? And it's not like that because even though the Lord like forgives our sins and we have new mercies every day, dad doesn't, right? I got issues, you understand? Like I remember everything. And so I, I wanted to sit the food out and just let it stale and just sit on the same plate. But his mom went ahead and put it in the refrigerator. You know what I'm saying? She blessed him. She preserved it just a tad bit. But when he woke up this morning, he had an old, almost gnarled on, three things of broccoli. And mind you, it's only three pieces of broccoli, small, and about a third of a cup of rice. But by the time the morning came, the rice was so daggone hard, it was like eating stones. Now, mom left and I was here to make sure that he didn't get away with anything. And that's because I'm childish. Thus, why well, I'm drinking the toddler tears right now. All right, bro, it's morning time. Go sit down and eat your food now. I don't wanna eat. I don't care if you don't wanna eat. You told me you were gonna eat it last night for breakfast, so go eat it. Now, this is at the point where I almost broke. You see, I knew that it was gross, but I didn't know how gross it was until I saw this. Now, mind you, if you are squeamish or this, you know, if you have like a sensitive stomach or you don't do well with looking at things that you're not supposed to be looking at, this is your time right now to move forward to this point in the video, okay? I'm time stamping it for you. Move forward so you don't see this next scene. But Uriah, let's just say the food doesn't stay in the digestive process. Oh man. Oh goodness. Oh no. Now look, I told you, I told you it was gonna be gross and I don't want no flack from you. I, I warned you, all right? You did that on your own. You would think at this point, I would be like, okay, he's had enough. Obviously, it's not good for him. But you gotta understand, 
trying to teach him a lesson. And this is at the point, like a lot of people came in my inbox telling me that I'm a bad father, telling me I should put some butter on it or some cheese or whatever. But this is the thing. It's not about the broccoli per se. It's about the commitment that he made. He told me that he was going to finish his food in the morning and that's what he had to do. So I sat there and watched him gag and barely get that stuff down. And it was rough. You have to eat that for breakfast today, okay? I'm so sorry. This, my Alright, I'm so sorry. I love but you. But after I eat my chocolate pancakes, I'm going to have a banana and fun. After I eat these two, I am going to watch with that. You should have ate it last night, right? After you can eat, after you eat that, you're gonna have some chocolate chip pancakes. And then, da, 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 like the superhero she is, mom comes home and she tries to help. She just looks at him. She has pity. Look who's home to save the day. This is a strategy, you know. She cares so much. Now he's asking to take a nap, y'all. And it's only a little bit of food on his plate left, but he needs to understand that he has to eat all of the food. He might be here until dinner. If you fall off the chair, you would let one of the boys fall off the chair. Get out of here. I would have let one of the boys fall off the chair because they're a foot taller than her. And if they fall off the chair, they're just clumsy. She's still learning how to walk. Yvette, I'm sorry, you have to leave now. You have to go. I'm sorry. How long did you put a time limit on this? I'm not putting a time limit on. He it's his time. Whenever he decides to eat the broccoli, it's a wrap. And this is what's the problem right now, okay? See, regardless if it's me or my wife, when one of us has come off the bench from being away and we come into a situation we want to hurry up and find a solution babe i think you're taking it too rough on them you should take it easy on them da -da 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 -da. but she wasn't there for the whole thing so i had to tell her mm, you know what i'm saying like get out of here we have something going on and she, he knows that if she comes home and she says such and such he would have a break so i had to tell yvette that you know i need you to go away so that i can handle this because this is between me and him. You would think I'm like poisoning this dude or something. And I'm still not letting up, but he's looking like he is dying. He looked like he has four minutes to live. You know what I'm saying? He's. And I think that it's only three pieces of broccoli and, 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 a, and a third of a cup of rice. It's not that much. If he would have ate it yesterday, he would have been in a total different situation. I need to make sure that he keeps his word, and that's all it's about. I have a responsibility as a father to teach him to be a man of his word. Now, some people are like, yo, he's too young for that. He's only three. I don't know how much time I got left. I need to make sure my kids are learning these things now. And see, I don't think it's too early for him to learn right now about work ethic and about keeping his word. You know what I mean? Like, these are things, these are principles for him to live by and he'll learn this at different stages but it'll always be the same it'll always be consistent what did you say you were going to do versus what did you do and i have the same issue with this growing up it took me a long time to learn this but i had nobody like beating this in my head and so for me as a father i don't want him to be like i was so i'm trying to prepare him for what's to come it's really important for him to be a man of his word he almost broke and this is what happened i reminded him of his own words i showed him the video of him saying that he was going to eat it and then I reminded him and I asked him, I said, bro, so you said you were going to eat this, right? And he said, yes. You said you were going to eat it, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. So you need to keep your word to yourself and to me and eat that food because you said you were going to eat it today. Okay? And after that, it gave him the extra push when I reminded him of his word. Yay! Yes! Yay, Ryan! Bo you step in your throw up? Oh, man. I'm sorry.
And that's so important of us to remind ourselves of our own words that we committed to ourselves and we want to accomplish something. It's important for us to remind God of his word to us. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's important to have a record of these things. And I just want to say out there to your parents out there who have young kids, I know it's not easy. I know, like, especially dinner time, it's just, it's so rough and so hard. And you know what? Uriah did it. He pushed through, he accomplished it. And I didn't think he was going to do it. And I'm so proud of him. And he was proud of himself. And even after that, he was like hugging and like, you know, kind of like more friendly to me, even though he like he was gonna die like an hour ago. You gotta follow through. My follow through is crazy. And it has a little bit to do with the fact that I'm childish, you know? And I enjoy drinking these toddler tears. They're really good for you, filled with vitamin D, vitamin C, and potassium and uh, sodium. Thank you guys so much for watching. Protect your life, keep your network popping. Follow me, my wife, and the Chocolate Babies on Instagram. You will not regret it. Peace. Thank you guys for watching. I just want to remind you real quick that myself, Andrew Edwards, and Slice and Rice have a giveaway going on right now for an Apple iPad and, a, and an Apple Pen. So if you go ahead and subscribe all of our channels and click the, click the link in the description, you'll see how to sign up for the giveaway. It's still going on. The more times you subscribe and like and all that stuff, then the more chance you have to win. And everybody could use something like that. It's a great gift. Father's Day is coming up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but it's also for interview graphic designers out there illustrators or any people like that this will be a great thing for you to have so make sure you enter in that competition right below and we'll see you soon next time i make a video whenever that is because i'm sloppy peace